What's up, Home Slice? Lucas here. This video is going to show you how to do a backflip from first person point of view. That way, you can watch this video, follow along, get in my head, and you can learn how to do the backflip immediately after. But you gotta focus. You guys might be a little tripped out, so this is an experiment, first person point of view. We'll see what happens. If you guys like it, you know, I'm hoping that it's gonna really just help some people break through out there. It's all in technique. Technique and no fear. I want you to get used to jumping. Right now, do it with me. Bring your knees down, arms down, jump up. Jump up, just slow squats, okay? Coordinate your arms with your legs. And instead of going all the way down to a 90, just bend a little bit and jump. Do the swing back with the arms, jump. Swing back with the arms, jump, okay? Hoop. The key is you wanna jump up as your arms come up, okay? So as you get the lift from the zero gravity from the arms, that's where you jump off with your feet. So right here is where you jump off with your feet. Looking at it from first person point of view. Down, up, down, up. Sweet, all right? Now what we're gonna do for the next minute, however long you need, follow along with me in this video, is you're gonna do a backwards roll, okay? So sit down on the ground, lay back, and then roll, whoa! And then up, and then up to your feet. Do it one more time with me. Ready? Steady. Go. Whoa. Cool. All right, first person point of view. Down, backwards roll. Hup, hup. Hey. You do a few jumps, you do a few rolls. A back roll doesn't feel anything like a backflip. It really doesn't. The only thing that's similar is you're gonna get used to going upside down. Now, we're gonna go to the makaku. The makaku is a very, very beneficial move to help you get over the backflip fear and get used to feeling the backflip. And I'm gonna show you how to evolve the makaku into the backflip right now. So you wanna get like this, squat down, put your hands down behind you, okay? You guys can see from the side view, it looks like this. Then, you're gonna pick a dominant side, okay? Mine's actually my, my left arm over here, this hairy arm over here. So, I'm gonna take my hand, I'm gonna place it like that, inwards. Not like this, because it's gonna twist my wrist. See, I need, to go, I need to go around my arm, just like that. Then, I go around a few times. Come here, walk back, all right? Do, all right, so you're gonna do a little bit of bar mitzvah break dancing right here. You only get applauded for that at a bar mitzvah. You won't get applauded for that anywhere else. So you need to pay attention right now. I know as you can see me, <laughs> bad joke. Now what you're gonna do instead of going around in a circle is you're gonna work on jumping and popping these hips like this and jumping over that. You see that? I'm not even gonna take my hand off the ground. See, so pop, throw this arm. Watch, ready? Pop, throw that arm. Things start to get turned around. This time we're going first person. Arm down, popping the hips. Gonna swing, ready? Oh. Went upside down. Pop, 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 oh! Hey, what are you doing? What you have to do now is you have to take this and you have to evolve this. This itself can turn into a backflip, okay? All you gotta do is pop more. Pop more here, pop more right here. See that? Pop this more and throw your arm up more. And instead of going over to the side, I'm gonna go towards my back more. Back, oh. I throw my feet up. Did you see him come around? Watch, get down. Sweet. First person point of view here. Pop, pop, pop. Oh, my feet really came up right there. Check that out from third person view. Yeah, you like that. Ready? One more time. Pop, pop, pop. Oh. The key is you wanna work on this more and more so that you're going over your head more rather than over the shoulder. You work on going more and more backwards. This is gonna go from the makaku with the hands always on the ground to the makaku where you start just standing up like this. Okay, so you're gonna, you're gonna throw both arms back and then you're gonna throw this arm back and grab it. So, ready? 
Just like this. Oh, cool. Ready for it. Oh, the wind. <laughs> First person point of view. Sweet. Okay, then from there, you're gonna go more and more and more and more. And get lighter and lighter on your makaku hand until the hand won't be on the ground. You'll be like, whoa. Watch me, do it with me right now. Don't give me an excuse. Oh. 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 I want you to understand and get the feel for the legs. Notice after you jump out of the makaku, when you crunch the legs, you spin faster and you feel this center of rotation in the core and it pulls you around nice and quickly. I want you to pay very close attention to that and be ready to apply that in the actual backflip because you're going for that right now. Jump, throw your arms, lean slightly back just like you do in the makaku, okay? And you wanna then crunch your legs in as you're feeling that rotation. You're gonna feel the upside down rotation and the speed change. Then you're gonna see the ground when you come back. You're gonna spot the ground and you're gonna land. It's actually super easy. It's really, really easy. You can learn this on a trampoline if you want, but the ground's a little bit different, okay? There's no bounce on the ground. Take your time, take it slow, watch this tutorial, watch it carefully, and land. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching everybody. I hope this video helps you all out. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. Tell me if you like these point of view videos and I'll be doing more tutorials, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe because I got daily uploads coming Monday through Friday. Check out my bodyweight training plan, Bodyweight Beast, if you want to get strong. I'll see you all in the next video. You all have a good one.